Hey guys, welcome back. I've got a haul for you today. And these are the supplies that I picked up to use during our 13 days of Halloween series. Now I've got a combination of some things I ordered from scrapbook.com, some things from Amazon and also Dollar Tree. There are some hits and there's some misses and then a couple of extra items that I picked up to use for fall. And I just wanted to share my thoughts on those. So let's go through those collections first. I'm starting off with this Halloween collection from Carte de Bella. I did have this one in in the last year's series, but I absolutely loved the pattern papers in this, especially that beautiful flower. So we're going to work with that again. And I really love the combination of the cut aparts as well. And so this is always going to be nice, thick, beautiful paper. The texture is nice. And those images are a little bit vintage, but also a little bit whimsical. So let's just flip through. And of course, you know, I've got to have those black cats for Halloween. Lily, our cat is gray, but she is very festive and ready for the holiday. So I'm excited to use these. And this is going to be very vintage inspired. So this will probably wind up as a mini album. And then also that sticker sheet comes with the collection kit. Next, we're on to the Simple Vintage Scary Stories collection from Simple Stories. And I very nearly did not get this collection, which would shock anyone to think that I would get through a series and not pick up Simple Stories. But I did find that the imagery in this kit was very, very similar to last year some of the echo park collection and so it was kind of 50s inspired very retro rather than just vintage but i do really like the papers so we're going to make that work and so some of these images are actually going to be really cute and i'm excited to work with this but as you know simple stories is always a favorite of mine and they have a great combination here of those plaids and the kind of more uh whimsical inspired papers so this one has some spiders and bats of course skeletons i love that they include some that are low contrast so they can work as a neutral and then some that are very bold and very bright of course simple stories does a ton of cut aparts including the tags as well as three by four and four by six sizes so that makes them ideal for the mini albums that you want to create because these work great for inserts or as tip-ins so that will be great to use and of course these sticker sheets have those sentiment strips and I always love to incorporate those. Two collections this year from Photo Play Paper. The first being Lil Boo Thing and I really love this pink palette for Halloween. They do of course have black and just a tiny little bit of orange mixed in just to have some traditional colors there. These images are super cute and the patterns are as well. I think this is going to be great to add for layering for cards because they do have some larger patterns and then some that are lower contrast. And so this is kind of a non-traditional or a pastelloween themed. And I really love that. This is gorgeous plaid here. And the flowers are not exactly what you would think of for Halloween, but I think they're going to work perfectly. And then the sticker sheet as well has more of those extra cute images. So my second collection from... Photo play is going to be Creepin' It Real. This has a much more traditional palette, but with some things to update it, like those pretty flowers and then the skeleton mask. And so this is just a nice combination. Isn't that lovely? Kind of holiday inspired, but not exactly on theme. So it could work if you have extras left over and you want to make non-holiday projects with it. That would work great. Look at this diagonal stripe is gorgeous and then the ghost photo play paper has a nice quality so I really enjoy working with this you know I like plaid it's nice to get two in the collection of each of these patterns so you don't have to decide which one you want to use and of course candy cane let me know in the comments if you love candy cane like I do some people think it is a very polarizing topic but candy cane is good for me in our house so I've cut that sticker sheet to coordinate as well and I love this image here with a little ghost in the cloche I think that it's going to be fun to create with 
the sentiments here are just a little bit larger as well than the strips from Simple Story. So they will make great sentiments on front of cards or layered on a sticker stack. I didn't miss Echo Park in my haul. I got the Spooktacular Halloween. This is so cute, a little bit whimsical, pretty traditional in the color palette, but the images are very young at heart and very cute. Of course, we have all the cut aparts. Look at these little houses. I just love them. And then of course, plaids, pumpkins, more different size cut aparts here. This one is great. Um, just a nice combination of whimsical images here. And then when we get to, so when we get through this collection, we're gonna also have that sticker sheet. And of course my favorite is that little cat. And I probably will use these during the series, but also I kind of hoard them for myself to use in my own documenting October uh, album that I use my traveler's notebook. And speaking of that, this is a thing that is a first for me. I accidentally ordered two of that spooktacular collection. So I'm just letting that decide for me that this is the one I'm going to keep for my own personal use and create my October stories from this collection. And so it was a happy accident. If you hear that noise in the background, that would be Lily. She is stampeding and having zoomies across the basement for some reason. And she's got a little piece of tape, which is scratching along the floor. So come over here, Lily, and say hi. She says hi to you guys. Make sure you let her know in the comments that you say hi back. A couple of things here from the Dollar Tree. I went and looked. I didn't see a whole lot of different stuff. And I think it is potentially because our Dollar Tree still has a lot of back to school supplies out. And so they're just waiting to have room on the shelves for more of this Halloween and fall inspired uh, product. I did get some stickers though, and I did wind up getting two sheets. I often wind up using one and then I don't have one to show. So I got two. This is cute. They have some that are dimensional. And then if I want to make the other ones dimensional, I can just pull two of them and then put my foam spacers between. So if I want them all to be dimensional, I can do that as well. So I got two sheets of this and this is nothing to do with our series, but I do love these socks that I can layer over my other socks because our basement does get pretty cold. Now, right now it's not because it's 91 degrees outside, but when we get closer to the cooler seasons, I will like to layer up and so these work great. Here's what I picked up from Amazon, and I do like this pumpkin orange clear path paper cardstock. Solid core, cuts really well. 50 sheets is a pretty good value, and this will get me through that series for sure. I still need to order some black cardstock, but this is a good color for more of my vintage -y collections, so it isn't like traffic cone orange. I really like the shade of this. And then these are the two misses that I have to share. I was pretty excited to see these on Amazon. It seemed like a good value because there are 50 sheets. And so there are 10 of each design and then you would get five of them. It seemed like they were going to be a good quality and they are. The print quality is really nice. The variety is great. The quantity is excellent. However, when I opened this package, it smelled really not pleasant. And so oftentimes collections do have a scent whenever you first open them, but this was more reminiscent, I think of like kerosene. It was really off-putting. I opened one of the packages and let it air out, hoping that it would just kind of dissipate, but it did not. So these are going back. And so unfortunately I can't recommend these. And I just wanted to let you know to beware of that when you order from Amazon, because sometimes you need to assess it when you get it and then maybe return it. Um, so sadly I can't keep these. And I was really hoping to use them for some traveler notebook inserts, um, but they're going back. And so this was the only miss that I had from Amazon. The last two things I did pick up from scrapbook.com and not for our series, but I do want to have a couple of collections to reach for for fall projects, which will be after our series, of course. And so this one is Simple Stories. Again, cider and donuts, super duper cute. I always love 
the whimsical aspect of some of their patterns here. Some of them are just absolutely adorable. Look how those go together. It's so cute and the colors are warm and rich for this collection. I've got a variety of florals, also a variety of plaids. And so of course the cut apart tags are super duper cute. And I love that they have the tag on the background as well. So you can decide which one you wanna use. Additional cut aparts in different sizes. Oh, look at that plaid. I am obsessed with that. And so here's some also that are the four by six size. And then more florals, isn't that lovely? And the sticker sheet is cute as well. So like I said, it's part of the haul, but not part of the series, um, but it was still available. So if you're interested in this one, I'm gonna link all of these collections in the description. So if you wanna check them out. Now, the last thing I got was sort of a hit and sort of a miss. They had this uh, simple story, simple vintage country harvest. That's a mouthful collection kit. And so it does come with the pattern papers and the full size sticker sheet it comes with the chipboards as well as the die cuts and then a little roll here of washi tape. And I really absolutely love most of this. And my only complaint is that it did come packaged together. And so that washi tape kind of caused a little bit of a lump. I can work around it very easily and you would never know, but I was a little bit disappointed. However, it was deeply discounted and so I think I can live with that, but I think this is really cute. I could even mix some of these in to our series if I wanted to because this is absolutely perfect for Halloween as well as the smaller plaid. But just keep that in mind. It's nothing to do with simple stories or the variety of things that you get in that collection. It's just how it was packaged and how it arrived. You can see here it's like kind of wonky, a little bit of a lump there. Still gonna be working fine, absolutely no problem with that, but just wanted to let you know in case you see those and they are discounted. Potentially, when they arrive, you're gonna have to be a little bit more careful with them. So that's gonna be all for my haul today. I had the three shops and then some hits and some misses. Now a tentative date I have set for beginning our 13 days of Halloween series is going to be the 22nd. I'm pretty sure that's going to be it. If anything changes I will update you. I'll have a video of course next week and then I'll have pretty much all my details nailed down. I will say something in next week's video and then also I'll make an update post on Facebook. So you probably wanna follow me over there as well because you will see some things that don't make it into the video. So I'll link all those platforms down in the description so you can check them out. And then I'm also gonna link the collections that I'm sharing here. And I sure do hope that you all enjoyed this haul. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, comment and subscribe. And as always, I'm wishing you a happy and productive day. And I thank you so much for watching. Bye.